the BBC, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and the Wall Street Journal have all named the movable metal type printing as the greatest invention of the last 1,000 years. In medieval times, only scholars and the lucky aristocratic few had access to the information. Because of the exorbitant expense of printing books xylography, the art of printing from wood carvings. The invention of metal typeset was no less than an information revolution that was to change the history of the world. Movable metal type printing technology promised the mass production of books. In a very short period, information on a diverse range of subjects was being conveyed to the public at large. Information became a popular commodity and it brought revolution. In the Western world, the information revolution gave birth to the Renaissance, the Reformation, the Industrial Revolution, and the Democratic Revolution. These periods were crucial in changing and shaping the Western world. Often credited with this mass dissemination of information is Gutenberg, whose 42-line Bible in 1455 was Europe's first mass-produced book. In 1900, at the World Exposition in Paris, the world was startled to see an extremely old and worn book. It eventually became clear that this relic, on display in the Korean Hall, was printed with a movable metal type. Only it was old, very old, and it originated in a small country in the Orient. It was dated 1377, 78 years before Gutenberg. It is called Chikji, and it is the oldest surviving publication of a movable metal type. Koryo's technology was clearly ahead of its time. Evidence suggests the appearance of metal typesets as old as the early 13th century. Many signs and evidences that Koryo invented and developed metal type technology have been found in the early 1200s, about 200 years earlier than in the Western world. It's safe to say Koryo's Chikji printing press surprised the people in Paris by appending all previous assumptions that Gutenberg's press had been the world's first. Al Gore, former U.S. Vice President and the Nobel Peace Prize laureate, made an interesting remark during his 2005 visit to Korea. Gutenberg's press, he said, may have been the direct result of an early papal delegation sent to Koryo. The delegation, impressed with what they saw, brought back the idea. Indeed, his claim is backed by the Swiss Museum of Paper, Writing and Printing. In October 2005, in Frankfurt, Germany, German and Korean scholars took note of how Koryo and the Chosun influenced the printing histories of China, Iran, and the Eastern world, and posited its spread along what may be called the Type Road after the famous path Silk followed west. It only makes sense that Gutenberg, a simple metal worker with no experience in publishing, had some help. The story of a completed printing press, fashioned from scratch in a mere 20 years, is simply too fabulous for serious scholars to accept. Papal delegations aside, most likely is that his help came from Koryo, developed by the Chosun and delivered to Samarkand via the northern plain of the Silk Road. As has so often happened before, the Jigji no longer rests with the descendants of its originators. It was ferried to France from Seoul in 1887 by Colline de Plancy, charge d'affaires ad interim with the French Embassy. Today it is kept in a dedicated safe 
as an article of value at the National Library of France. In 2001, Chikji was inscribed on UNESCO's The Memory of the World program. Its memory is invaluable to Korean history. As the country of origin, Korea has repeatedly requested its return. Today's Korea is an information technology powerhouse. Among the 180 countries ranked, Korea consistently ranks first in national IT utilization. To think, its success was foreshadowed as far back as the Chikji in the 13th century.